Hello everyone, very excited. I'm kicking off a new YouTube series uh, here where I'm talking about Cluster, which is the new multi-beam software uh, that I've been working on here for the last year or so. Um, it's all about processing multi-beam sonar data. Uh, if, it, if you don't know what that is, I'm planning on adding some links in the description of this video uh, to give you some background information into what multi-beam sonar actually is and uh, and how that works. Um, cluster works primarily or only at this point on uh, files logged by Kongsberg sonars. I'm planning on adding in the future other sonars but currently it's just Kongsberg uh, so that's important to keep in mind. I I'm showing here the GitHub for cluster. Uh, when you get in here you can go into the tags here under releases and you can get the zip file which, when you download and open, looks kind of like this. And then in here, there's going to be this executable. And uh, does not require an installation, but when you run the executable, you're going to get this display. So this is cluster. Um, so in this video, I just want to give a very brief overview of the processing, how it works, how to use it. Um, and then in further videos, I'm planning on doing a deep dive into each of the components and uh, the functionality of the software. So let's get into it. Let's just take one of these Kongsberg sonar files that I've got and let's just drag it in. So what I did was I dragged it into the project tree which is this window on the left and this window uh, gives you an idea of what data is currently loaded in cluster. And what you'll see is there's a new action here in the actions tab. So the action is to convert this one line that we added. And there's a big button here. You hit the button, it runs the action. It takes a little bit to fire up the cluster. And then you'll start seeing some output here. And it's going to zoom to this line that we just converted. So here we go. We are in the Chesapeake Bay here in Virginia. Uh, and you'll see there's some very rough coastline. This is just the default that shows up in the map view. You can easily go into layer settings and change to something like, say, the satellite view. I have the, the, the rough coastline as a default, uh, just in case you don't have internet. So this requires internet. The one I showed you before does not. Okay, so we're showing the navigation. Here's our sonar line. Let's go and uh, run the processing on our newly converted data. So what this is going to do is it's going to do uh, the big steps in cluster, which is accounting for uh, attitude and navigation and sound velocity and all of those components in the converted data to give you that final processed product. And those final processed data you can use to build uh, the surface, which you can export to an image uh, which is what you probably want in the end. So we're georeferencing, we're doing the uncertainty calculations, and then we're finished. So now we can take our one line here and we can build a new surface. Uh, this part is something that I'm working on right now because uh, I'm overhauling this because I don't really like the way it works. It's not very memory efficient and there's other problems, but Let's just take this and um, build a four meter uh, surface from that line we just converted. Uh, so this takes a little bit, especially if you got a lot of data. In this case, I don't think we do, so it shouldn't be too fast or shouldn't be too slow. All right, and when we're finished, you'll see we now have this new entry under surfaces with our grid. We'll show the depth surface, and now we're seeing the depth layer. All right, so this is color coded, giving you the depth along our multi beam line, showing you the swath. Okay, so now we can go with this our, our new grid selected. We can go up here and we can export the surface. Um, here's the formats. GeoTIFF is probably the most common one, so we'll just hit OK. You'll see it's pretty fast. We're just going from one format to another. 
And when I go in here, you'll be see a new um, export.tiff, and you can open this in, you know, QGIS or some other software that handles geotiffs, um, and work on it there. So that's that was the goal: is to get from raw sonar to this uh, final processed image. Okay, and I'm gonna stop there, and then in later videos, we'll we'll dive into each one of these things uh, into more detail. But until then, I will see you later.